Listen, I am so excited about what I get to show y'all today. I have been waiting years for this. Really, it's only been about five days, but I am freaking pumped and I can't wait to show you because I'm so excited for it. Today, we're gonna be going over the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Backpack. Let's take a look. All right, friends, are you ready? Today, we are going over the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Backpack. I'm very excited because uh, just based on some rough measurements, I think it's an excellent fit for people that are big and tall. I've got a pretty broad, tall, long back, and I think that this thing is gonna be perfect for what we need. So without further ado, let's check it out, and we'll, yeah, let's check it out, okay. Look at it, here it is. This is the box it shipped in. Like, I haven't opened this thing at all. It is ready for you guys to open with me, and I'm really excited about it. So, let's get old Trusty out and take a look. I probably need to sharpen this, because she's a little dull. There we go. One more. Gotta open it like a man, you know? Let's dive in. Okay, not packaged how I thought it would be. It looks a little different than online. Hey there, can you see me? There we go. I'm just gonna start dumping stuff out and we will go through it as we go through it. <laughs> oh, here it is. Oh, let's toss this over here. It did come with another box. I have no idea. I was totally in the dark. It did come with another box. I have no idea what's in here. I thought everything was supposed to be in the bag. It's already not, so I, I don't know what this is. Check it out. Look at that. Nice skull and crossbones. Peter McKinnon's trademark signal. I mean, even this bag is nice. If I can figure out how to open it. Look at that, a nice zip bag. I may actually hold on to this. This is exciting. Oh, nice. Okay, man, that thing is absolutely gorgeous. You know, just first impressions before diving into it too much. I mean, this stuff is, it's just great material. Like this is stuff that, you know, I can put my um, like camera gear in and it's gonna be water resistant. I mean, that's kind of the point of this. It's got the water, uh, the waterproof zipper covers around here. It's, uh, I mean, it's just, it's built to keep your gear safe. There is trademark Peter McKinnon uh, signature. What you'll notice immediately, thick, cushiony handles. One here, there's a handle here. There's a handle on the bottom. How handy is that? And another one on the side. So four handles for however you need to pick it up or however you need to do it. Let's see, let's explore the first pocket together. This is on the front. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that color right there. That is a nice, it's hard to see from, from this lighting. Uh, right there, you'll see, fly the flag. It doesn't look like, eh, it doesn't look like you can see it, but it does say it, I swear. But one thing that's nice, if you look right here, it's got a magnetized extra compartment. Can you see this thing? I don't know if you can, but it's got a magnetized extra compartment that you can put your passport in, phone in, wallet, whatever you might travel with that is not easy to access. Like there's your normal access that goes, I mean, that goes my entire hand deep. It's not a terrible. That goes my entire hand deep in there. Uh, and then this comes down, little magnet comes, God, I am, my massive hands are just in the way. This comes down and you have a secret spot. And then you also have a keychain for if you need to um, throw your keys in there. So, pretty simple pocket, uh, great start to the bag. Next, this is what I really wanted to check out about this bag, the clothing compartment. You like that opening? Woo! Look at this thing. Check that out. Man, I'm excited about this. 
Very, very excited about this. So, starters, we'll go with the lid. For starting with the lid, you have your two pockets right here, underwear, socks, uh, whatever else you could want to put in there. And then also, it's got, that unzips, your pockets unzip, and it flips open. And now, you can put some shirts there, or um, other things that would fit this spot would go there very well. And then, you turn it this way, and bam, take a look at that. That is a couple more pockets. That's four pockets right there. A nifty compression clothing strap to keep those clothes tight in there. And then, this is my favorite part about it. This is why I think it's an excellent option for people with big and tall clothing. Right here is a little hard to see zipper. You unzip this. Now, I said that weird. You unzip this. And bam, look at that. Look how much room that gets. I mean, it goes from 35 liters to 42 liters. I mean, look at that. That's a ton of extra space right there. And to give you an example, one second, I filled up a packing cube because I wanted to see how much can this fit in it. Within this packing cube, you will see, I'll put these in another video because I'm very excited about these for big and tall clothing as well. Um, in this packing cube, I have a pair of cargo shorts, three shirts, two pairs of underwear, and two pairs of socks. So pretty much enough for me to get away with a nice long weekend. So I wanted to see with this extension, how would it fit in here? First off, it is about as wide as the bag. So we shall see. It's not gonna fit that way. However, long ways, will it fit? I, I wasn't sure for a second, but look at that. I, I mean, it, it's, it's out there, like it's sticking out there and I can probably do a better job of packing it. But I mean, like that's as big as this bag is gonna get. That's what's crazy. Cause like your camera gear will not expand the bag. This is as big as it expands to. And so if you, un Ooh, there it is. Boom, enough clothing for me to get by with. If I can figure out how to get it wide like this, it's even better. Let's see if I can do it like that, because then I can fit two of these bad boys in here. That may be a bit of a stretch. I don't think, I don't think that's gonna work. However, being able to fit it long ways in there, and then there's also a smaller packing bag that you can put other things in. I mean, this is easily enough for me personally with big clothing. I could probably get four or five days just with what this clothing compartment offers, which is incredible to me. That's why I wanted it because I'm starting to explore with media more as we travel. I just did a trip uh, to the Oregon coastline in uh, 2019. And um, I just wish that I had had space for more camera gear and didn't have to just rely on clothing. Because we're, you know, we're, I wanna start being able to travel with just checked on luggage more. Um, and being able to have this is gonna be able to do that. So let's zip it back up and explore the rest of the bag. Um, oh. Hold on, I lost the zipper. So that's the clothing part. Now, let's get into the meat and potatoes of why this bag is a good fit for me personally for traveling with camera gear. For starters, look at this right here. This is, oh, let me get this out of your vision. Okay, all right, for starters, check this out. Nifty little side pocket, boom, magnets, expands. Put your water bo wa water bottle. Put your water bottle in here. Um, you can put your tripod in here for traveling with. And then if you don't want anything in there, look at that. Flush with the side of the bag, gorgeous. Amazing, really love that. Also, it has these little areas right here that you can put a strap through and strap your tripod to your bag. Real quick, before we dive into the meat, I keep saying meat and potatoes. I like meat and potatoes, I'm sorry. Let's take a look at the straps, because I heard a lot of things about these straps. I haven't I haven't tried it on yet. As you know, you just saw me open the box, so I don't know how these are gonna work with a big chest. One thing I've always had an issue with is right here, the adjustable plastic areas always seem to ride up on my shoulders because I've got such a big chest. And so um, we're gonna see. I'm gonna show some footage in a little bit, hopefully, um, of how do these look on my back and my chest and everything. But let me tell you something, these pads are thick. Like this thing, like it's got like this nice, thick 
um, just tough material up here that, and then a nice thick cushion under it for your shoulders. So you can go a pretty far away with this thing. I really like that a lot. And then it's got the adjustable straps up top. And then it's also got the straps down here to help with length. I'm really, really hoping that it's good for a big chest. One thing that you'll also see, another little skull and crossbones for Peter McKinnon there. Um, this actually comes out. This thing is gonna be in the way for quite a bit. Um, this actually comes out so you can set it on your roll around luggage uh, and keep it a little bit more safe if you don't wanna have it on your back, which I really, really love. And one thing, um, you'll notice that it comes with these side straps right here. These, Well, that was supposed to be a lot cooler. I was supposed to just whip it out there and it was out. But you can take this belt off. Um, and so I think that's super handy because I rarely like using a belt for a bag that I'm not going to take outdoors. However, it's really handy to have it. Okay, so one thing that you'll notice, this, this nice padding in here. I mean, this the back of this bag is meant to have on your back for a while. And the padding is super nice. It also it creates a nice... Uh, cannon creates a nice breezeway. I, I don't know. It just gives you an opportunity for your back to air out. Uh, and I really, really like that because my back sweats like crazy even when it's not hot. So having that extra breathability, huge for someone that's huge. You know what I mean? One thing also, this bag stays up really well. The reason of this is because it has two aluminum collar stays in here that not only keep it upright for support and stability, but also on the bottom of it, it rests on your hips. So it takes some of the pressure off your shoulders and back, which I think is fantastic. Again, built to be on your back for a long time. One thing you'll notice, you have the handle here for grabbing with, and then you have another handle here. And the reason that this is uh, really important is because like, a lot of times, like for a tripod, you want to hang this on the bottom of it to help stabilize it and keep your camera steady from falling over. And so this is an excellent way to do that. Or you can just toss it up on a coat rack um, when you're done with it. That is the back of the bag, the front of the bag, the front pocket of the bag. Now, let's get into why is it is a camera bag. Look at that. Side access. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, this is where I'm going to be putting... Uh, my camera that I'm actually filming with right now, it's gonna go right there. Uh, that way I can just have easy access to, you know, the, the birds that are really fast. Yeah, that's what that's for. Now, look at the amount of room that you get here. Double zippers right here. You ready for this? Boom! Okay, this thing is gorgeous. Look at this. I mean, just the interior of this thing Wow. I mean, that's really, really, really nice. This backpack, one of the reasons I wanted to get it, I'll show you in just a little bit, are some of the accessories that come with the bundle. Uh, and one of them goes right here. It's one of the, my favorite things about this whole thing. Um, however, this is an excellent place to start. Um, if you'll check this out, ooh, that Velcro is legit. I mean, that's what you want if you're gonna put your expensive camera gear in here. Good Velcro to, for your uh, dividers. So, once again, skull and crossbones. And then uh, this stuff is really thick and padded and the Velcro works really, really well. The dividers are so thick. Look at that cushion on those things. And um, totally customizable. All the different levels move and come off and you can move them whichever way you need them to. And let's say you don't need that much camera gear. Let's say you just need a couple of things, maybe a GoPro and like a DSLR and yeah, that's all you need. And some attachments and lenses and batteries and stuff. You can put clothing in here too and you can really extend your stay if, if you want to. And so I like having that option. This bag is so, so versatile. Here we have two zip mesh pockets, um, which I think's I thinks, which I think um, would be able to hold, um, I don't know, maybe your memory card case or uh, maybe some special or some uh, extra lenses. And then you'll have right there, that's a tablet area. I mean, that's, that's awesome. I absolutely love that. One thing that I love about this bag is you cannot access all of this without taking it off your back. This is against your back. And so your stuff is safe. 
I mean, except for the side access here, which would still be kind of tough to open without you knowing. Your, your stuff is safe in here, and I love that. One thing that you probably didn't even see on this, either because of my poor lighting or because I haven't shown you yet, look at this. Laptop area, bam! Amazing. Let's talk dimensions and specs. I couldn't find a ton on what the bag's actually made out of, um, although I do know now, just feeling it, it's great material and good quality. Um, this bag is 22 inches high. 13 and a half inches wide and then nine inches deep. To put it in a frame of reference of how big my back is so you can measure yours, uh, my back is 25 inches high, um, 19 inches wide. And you know what? I'm not gonna tell you how like much depth I have in my body because I'm trying to lose weight, you know? I, you don't need to know that. And so let's continue. Here we go, guys. I wanna show you what it looks like whenever it's actually on me. Keep in, uh, mind the, keep in mind the dimensions that I said about this thing. Um, that way you can measure your own back and see if it works for you. Again, 22 inches tall, 13 and a half inches wide, nine inches deep. My back, 25 inches long, that's right, and 19 inches wide. So, ah, it's difficult with long arms, you know. But for starters, I mean, look at that thing. I'm a big dude. I'm, I'm 6'10", 340 pounds, and look at this. Right? It's got a little chest strap, a little seat belt in case you're running too fast. And then, I probably won't use these a ton, but for someone that has a pretty thick trunk, boom. Look at that, my little hiking pack. Look how high it sits up on me. I mean, look at that, that is a, that's a good sized backpack, right? So next, let's talk accessories. And I think I know what is in this box, but we're gonna save it for the end, because I'm really excited about this. For starters, look at all these nice zippy bags. I love that. I love zippy bags. I'm gonna hang on to these. Look at that, your stuff box. Anytime you're traveling and you need a spot for extra batteries, uh, maybe some attachments, you wanna throw some of your active camera gear in here, boom, this is what you got. This is what it comes with and it's built to fit in that bag. And I love that. Right here, you've got a nice secure pocket that you can toss your memory cards in if you're on the go. And there's another spot for memory cards too. I'll show you in just a little bit. And then. All of these things have thick dividers that are Velcroed to the walls so that you can uh, move anything that you want to change up, move the walls around, do whatever kind of designs you want, uh, and set it up whatever best fits your gear. Next, I love that zipper. What do we have here? Wow, that was, that was way more difficult to open than it should have been. This is, oh, this is your SD card storage. Absolutely excellent. Um, everything matches the theme of the bag. Let's go ahead and pull it out of here. Boom, that's a nice little case. It feels good, same material as on the outside of the backpack. Um, let's see, it's got, it has a magnet. Hear that? That wasn't very impressive. Hear that? Still not very impressive. Look at that, it's got a couple of different flaps to hold all of your memory cards. Continuing, this battery case. Again, amazing design, matches the bag. All your gear goes together if you get the bundle and there it is inside. And then one thing that I'm actually pretty excited about it came with these. It's little skull and crossbone red stickers. And so what you do, and the point of this, you put this on one end of your battery, and so whenever you have your batteries in here and they're fully charged, you won't see the sticker. And then when it dies, you just toss it in there with the sticker up, and you know, at a quick glance, that battery's dead, yo. So then you can not grab that battery and waste your time. Next. This is your filter case. Very, very important. For any of your lighting filters on the go, 
I didn't do that very well, but it's got a nice mesh pocket right here. It has mesh pockets here, mesh pockets here, mesh pockets here, and another mesh pocket here. I mean, that holds a ton of lenses. Um, that should get you through whatever photo shoot you need to, uh, and I really like it. And this thing is tough. I mean, it is like, like that thing is not gonna hurt your lenses if it falls, and you could like toss this to a buddy and not have to worry about it. Here we are. Let's get rolling. I got all trusty again. This is what the accessory that I am the most excited for. This is the most functional gear ever, is Nomadic's slogan. It's not in a zippy bag. That is unfortunate. However, I'm fine with that. This case is fantastic. It is called the Cube Pack. Now, why it's fantastic, I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you just in case that bag was too loud while I was crinkling it. Actually, let me show you where it goes in the bag. Oh, come here. Come on over here, girl. Ugh. Okay. This goes right here. I don't know if you remember me pointing to that earlier. Look at that. Fits like a glove. Amazing. It goes right there. It's meant to go there. You don't have to take it with you, but it's super, super handy, especially if you're going to be somewhere for a couple of days and you don't want to lug this thing around. And I'll show you why. Let's get started with opening this bad boy up. I have been looking forward to seeing this thing this entire time. This is, this whole bag is amazing, but this is probably the thing that really sold me on it. I mean, this, I am so excited. So let me shut up so you can take a look at it. Okay. I don't know how good that lighting is, if you can see that, but you know how many of these things are in there? That is ridiculous. I mean, I appreciate it. All right, so, boom, another camera cube. Nothing too crazy, right? It's got the same Velcro walls, the same thick dividers where you can change it up and do whatever you want. But the point of this bag is really like if you want to throw a drone in there, you want to throw even your camera and then a GoPro in there as well if you're on the go for a day pack. And I'll show you why you're able to use it that way. On the top here, there is another zipper. Let's take a look at what it does. It opens up and then it stands up into a freaking backpack, man. Look at that. Let's, let's zip this bottom part closed so it's a little easier to deal with. And then bam, look at that. A full functional backpack You'll connect these down here at the bottom, and then you've got a day pack. I mean, this is incredible. I love this thing. I mean, you've got your camera gear safe at this secured, um, tough bottom, and then you've got a full day pack, tons of room, could hold whatever you want. It's got another zipper compartment back here, uh, and, and it just holds like, it can hold like a day's worth of clothing, your camera gear, um, like a food and some drinks or whatever. I mean, this, this is a, a full, almost a full size backpack that folds up into this. And then the top of it that's cushioned becomes your back cushion for the back. I mean, this thing is fantastic. I almost bought it by itself because it's just so amazing. But I was like, you know what? I need everything. Tuck everything back in like so. And you're just gonna zip it back up. Come on now. Boom, and you are back to having your cube. It goes right back in your bag when you're done for the day. This thing is fantastic and I absolutely love it. I'm very happy um, with this thing here. It is, I think, well worth the money if you're gonna be carrying expensive gear around and also need some room for clothing. Um, I know this review is kind of more focused around just the, just the backpack itself. However, I think this thing is fantastic if you're big and tall. Um, whether big or tall, it doesn't matter. I, I'm kind of both, and so I needed something to kind of fit that. I mean, I'm able to get um, four or five days worth of clothing in this thing and have all my camera gear in it, uh, and I can get more of either if I needed to, but I mean, there's rarely a trip where I need more than that because a lot of times I'll also have uh, a carry-on. And so you have a carry-on and this thing, I mean, you could stay for a couple weeks. So I'm very happy with this bag. I'm very impressed with the quality of it. I've watched a ton of reviews myself on it. Um, just to learn more about it and it's just 
It sold itself. I mean, it sold itself because it's so amazing. It just recently came off a Kickstarter, so it's actually a pretty new product to the market. Um, and that's why, you know, got a bit of a hefty price tag to it. But this is uh, uh, a buy once, cry once purchase where I know I'm going to have it for probably the rest of my life because it's such good quality. Uh, yeah. And I'm really, I'm really pumped about it. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me today. I was so pumped to show you guys this bag. Um, it felt like forever waiting for this thing. Uh, but we made it. We made it. Uh, I really, if you've made it this far into the video, I appreciate it so much. I thank you for your time and being willing to spend your time with me. Uh, I would love to get a subscribe and a thumbs up on this video. Uh, and I'll start, you know, I'll continue producing more content um, as time moves on. Um, and I'd love to hear from you. What do you want to see me review that's great for big and tall people? Uh, it, you don't even have to be big and tall. If you want to buy a loved one something and you want to see it reviewed, shoot me a message. My email is below, or you can just leave a comment on the channel and I'll try to stay on top of those uh, and see what y'all are recommending that you would like to see out there. So, without further ado, I'm Corey from Freaky Tall Reviews. Until next time.